IIT Madras created a new record. A new deep tech company every third day. I mean, it's quite literally raining startups at IIT Madras. In the financial year 2025 alone, IIT Madras incubated a record 104 startups. That's almost double than last year's count. So let's tell you about the rise of India's deep tech incubator. This is not just a one-off. Over the past 12 years, IIT Madras has built quite literally a deep tech empire. 455 startups and counting. So let's rewind a little bit. From just a handful of startups in 2013 to now one of the biggest deep tech factories outside of Silicon Valley. And here's the kicker. Over 50% of these startups come from IITM's own faculty, students and alumni. The rest, talented entrepreneurs from across India finding a launch pad at Madras. But hang on, what actually is being built? I know what you all are thinking. The same question that Mr. Piyush Goyal asked. More delivery apps? Nope. We are quite literally talking rockets, satellites, electric scooters, AI systems, chip design, space tech, real moonshots, path-breaking achievements. Let's tell you about them. Ether Energy built India's premium EV scooters. IPO incoming as well. Agnikool Cosmos, 3D printed rocket engines, private launch pads, and Microsat launches eminent as well. Unifor built a $2.5 billion conversational AI giant, world-class voice AI as well. Minecraft Technologies built indigenous chip designs and silicon made in India. There's more, say Galaxy, building world's first multi-sensor earth imaging satellite. Doesn't stop here, Detect Technologies, AI for oil and gas safety. It has clients like Reliance and Shell already. Then there's the e-plane company, India's first electric flying taxi prototype is ready from there. Let's talk about Solanas Integrity as well. Robots ending manual scavenging, saving lives. Manual scavenging is a deep-rooted problematic issue still relevant in the country. So this can go a long way in solving that. And as I told you, the list of such path-breaking achievements and companies go on. So is this the real deep tech revolution? Unlike the fancy ice cream and cookie startup that Commerce Minister Piyush Goyal warned about, these IIT Madras startups are delivering real innovation, real development. They're not just raising funding, but building rockets, robots, electrical planes, homegrown chips. And yes, some of them, like the likes of Aether and Agnikool, are preparing to go global as well. So if you have a question that why is this moment so critical, let me tell you, it is extremely critical. Because India is not just aiming for startup nation status anymore. It's aiming for product nation. It's aiming for innovation nation, deep tech superpower. And IIT Madras, it's leading that very charge. One startup at a time. One startup in every three days. Today, India is assembling iPhones. Tomorrow, it might assemble starships, quantum computers, AI systems. Thanks to hubs like IIT Madras, that dream doesn't sound so crazy or so far off anymore. Because real revolutions don't just happen in garages anymore. They happen where minds meet mission. And Madras is showing us how. Tell us what you feel about this. If you are a student or say an ex-pass out from IIT Madras, definitely tell us how you feel about this. Share this video with a fellow tech enthusiast and of course, for more such real-time live updates from the entire world of tech and AI and India's tech and AI stories, subscribe to AIM TV because think AI, think AIM.